Sometimes we want to confine the choices that a user can enter in a cell to a specific finite set list of items. In this case, for employees, we know that there are only these three for now. So we can create a range name for these employees. We highlight their names, go to this little box up here that has our cell reference, and we would type our range name. I usually begin mine with underscore, underscore, employees. Now, to avoid typing errors, spelling errors, and have consistency of the names throughout our spreadsheet, we can set up a data validation so that we can select employees from a list. So you go to your first cell in your spreadsheet, data validation. Here where it says allow, you would select list, check this in cell drop down box, and for the source, you would put an equal sign and then the range name. Okay, you see a little arrow drops, pops up here in that cell. You can copy that to all of the other cells in that column. And now, wherever we go in this column, we can select from our list of employees. If the list of employee grows, we can insert a row within that range. For instance, we'll go here, insert a row, and enter a name. And now when we turn to our list, we see that it's populated in the list. And that's how you use range names and data validation.